Hello. We are filming on site here at the beautiful Goodyear Airship Base in Carson, California. As a Goodyear blimp pilot, this is where I work. Due to COVID-19 response policy requires us to wear masks while on property and with other associates. Uh, there's two of us here filming today and since we are outside and we're socially distancing up to six feet, I'm gonna remove my mask and share my career story with you. I am Taylor Dean, Assistant Chief Pilot at the Carson, California Airship Base. I was introduced to aviation. Uh, it sparked my interest when I was 12 years old. I went on a family vacation, went traveling. I knew I'd always loved traveling. This time I got to go abroad. We went to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, and it just increased my passion for that even more and for the adventure of, of life and getting out there and doing things. Uh, I always wanted to do something really hands-on with my life as well and, and involve passion. So uh, actually when I got back on the flight from that vacation, I looked in the cockpit and from that day forward, I knew exactly what I wanted to do with my life. I'm the first pilot in my family. And even from a young age, when I let my parents know my career choice, they were always supportive and they've helped me every step of the way. I took my first flight lesson at 18 years old. Uh, two months later, I got to do my first solo flight and as a pilot, I think that you never forget the first time that you're in an aircraft by yourself, especially after takeoff. There's so much pride and excitement, a little bit of nervousness, um, but once you complete it at the end of the day, I mean, I was on cloud nine for weeks after I finished my first solo. Uh, after I started flying, I got my private license, uh, moved on to my instrument rating, and then got my commercial. Uh, after that, I was trained to become a flight instructor. I did a month-long course up at uh, Santa Monica Airport where I was offered a job to flight instruct for them. It was a Part 141 Flight Instruction Academy. I flew there for three years teaching people anywhere from private, instrument, commercial, um, and, and also flight instructors how to fly. Um, when I did finally leave there, I got my bucket list job, so I say, where I went to Alaska and I flew for a Part 135 company at a Juneau airport and I flew all over uh, Southeast Alaska. I first saw the Goodyear blimp when I was flight instructing at the Santa Monica airport. And it was, it was an interesting situation because everybody stopped what they were doing. It's like the whole flight school just shut down. Everybody left the offices and went outside to stand outside the building and watch the airship come in on low approach on runway 21. And we sat out there for you know, 20 minutes just talking about it afterwards. Everybody was so excited. When I saw the job online, I thought to myself, well, I don't have any blimp time. How am I gonna get a blimp job? Uh, but as it turns out, there's no blimp schools out there. So they only uh, require you to have flight time, either a helicopter or an airplane. And once you do get hired on with Goodyear, then you get in-house training that, um, for you know, anywhere from six months to a year it takes to get totally certified at the Goodyear airships. So when I learned to fly airships, we were flying an older model, the GZ20 style. and. One of the most different things about this airship is there's only one set of controls on board. Most modern aircraft, you have two sets of controls, so the pilot training can use the controls and the instructor can also uh, provide input when needed for safety, whereas this airship only had the one set. So when you're learning to fly, you have to develop a large amount of trust between yourself and your instructor. And I remember the first time landing, uh, it was actually here at this field, just right over, uh, right over in the corner there. It's, it's all you. You know, the instructor doesn't have a lot of input at that point. In landing the airship, there's a few differences. Uh, the biggest one is that now we're landing into a group of people, to my coworkers. Uh, we had ropes that would hang down in the front and they would run out and grab the ropes in order to contain the ship when it got on the ground. Uh, another interesting difference for airships is you don't land with a flare at the end, you land flat. When we made the transition from the old GZ-20 style airship to the new Zeppelin NT, the airships are completely different. It's, um, it's similar to like you know, driving a classic car versus a, a Tesla. So the, the old airship was all uh, mechanically driven, cables, wheels, pulleys, uh, physical force was used to control the airship. The new ship is all fly-by-wire, it's all electric-driven uh, like throughout. Uh, you use a small side stick to control the aerodynamic fins, and you use this the thrust vector control system in the center here to control your RPMs, your mixture, your swivels, uh, and your propeller pitch. So it's a state-of-the-art technology that we've gone into. It's vastly more complex. The ship is more maneuverable. 
There's a lot of different variables as how you can fly the airship, depending on the, the situation that you're in. So it's, it's been a huge undertaking for us from the old ship to the new, uh, but it's been a great learning experience. There's two flights that stand out to me the most throughout my career with Goodyear. And the first one's in 2012. I was out helping the Florida operation cover a NASCAR race down in Homestead. It was the most beautiful day in Southern Florida, not a cloud in sight, un unrestricted visibility. And we got to, uh, we had two airships in one location and they were both slotted to fly this event. So we were gonna formation fly, or we did formation fly over the Homestead racetrack uh, in Southern Florida. And it was uh, such an experience getting to fly two of these airships together because they are such a rare sight to see even just by themselves. Uh, the second flight, which is kind of a full circle for me, is in 2017 when we did the NFL Hall of Fame. And again, we were in Ohio uh, operating their airships, but we had two of the new style airships, the NT, the Zeppelin NT. And we flew in formation over that event. And those two things put together, I don't think that uh, you can top that. I, I love my job and I love that we do different things every day. It keeps my life exciting. I get to travel to new locations. We're always doing new events. Maybe I'm doing media, maybe we're covering the Rose Bowl. So every day is just kind of different and exciting and challenging. And, and I think that's my favorite part, all those things put together. To the young women and girls in aviation, I encourage you to find out what moves you and dedicate yourself to that passion because that passion can become your career.